Today we have a special guest on our show, Russian philosopher and the founder of the Eurasianist movement, Alexander Gelievich Dugin. Hello, Alexander. Hello. And most of you have some idea who Alexander is, although some of you might have a distorted view, uh, and we, we will hope to rectify it during our conversation. I will briefly introduce ourselves to you, Alexander, and for those who just found us. But before that, um, let me ask a traditional starting question. What are you drinking right now? I'm drinking some Puer tea, and it's pretty nice. I'm drinking kefir. <laughs> mm. Great. You are lucky, guys. You don't drink anything right now, I take it. That's good. All right. So let me introduce ourselves. Um, we are two Russian guys. My name is Nikolai and my co-host's name is Kirill. Kirill has a formal and informal training in history. And I used to be a prolific uh, Twitter contrarian. We started our podcast back in 2020. Our main mission was to talk about interesting things and to present Russia's history and reality in English language in a different light because we were sick and tired of being caricatured and misrepresented. And uh, typically Russians uh, fail miserably at uh, public relations uh, department and all that's left to our public image, be it negative or positive, are matryoshka dolls, bears, vodka and hot women perhaps. And uh, we try to change that or at least make a dent in this old tired image. Alexander, you are currently the most known Russian philosopher in the world. And some of your acclaim is entirely of your own making, because you, re you have written many books, translated them and learned many tongues yourself. But I think that part of your name recognition is due to misrepresentation by American mainstream media in particular, and their decision to turn you into a sort of a boogeyman with which they scare average Americans. Uh, so my first question will be, what do you do with the unwanted and offensive labels that are being slapped on you, such as uh, Putin's brain or fascist mysticist and, and whatnot? Or did you learn to embrace it? So first of all, I think that there are two levels in this image. Uh, it has nothing to do with my ideas, uh, and sometimes, um, for example, describing my so-called fascism, they are citing my own works where I criticize radically fascism as communism and liberalism, by the way, but fascism as well. So uh, nobody cares. For example, in Wikipedia, there are uh, many articles uh, written on myself uh, well, and many topics, many issues uh, have in them incorrect biographical facts, for example. The, the pure bi biographical, without any interpretation or appreciation. And there are so many errors, mistakes there. But if you try, if you try to correct some uh, innocent details, uh, it will be changed uh, back immediately. So somebody is working on this image of Boogie Man, as you have put it. So uh, and that is a kind of, of operation. We can call it Dugin's uh, operation. So the West needs enemy, needs uh, the figure, the Gestalt, uh, to to blame it, to 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 use it uh, when uh, it is uh, necessary, and they have chosen myself. So that was a very serious decision. I think back into the nineties, they they have made uh, research in Russia, and Zhirinovsky was too too cynical, too clownish, uh, clown, and they they tried to do the same from Lebet, General Lebet, as huge Russian beer general with, uh, with low voice and, and so on. But finally, they have chosen myself in order to create a, a new uh, negative uh, picture of Russia. 
uh, gulag, uh, revolution, slavery, birds in the streets, and Dugin at the top of it with with his bird. So that was Rasputin's Putin uh, topic, and uh, and that is a kind of propaganda. But there is a kind of uh, nucleus, the kind of uh, core, uh, very uh, very logical core in this attitude, because it is difficult to find in the world uh, the philosopher with so clearly anti-liberal position. So I am really, and the reality, uh, a kind of champion of illiberalism. So I detest liberalism in all its form, old liberalism, new liberalism, middle uh, liberalism. I reject any kind of political philosophy based on the individuality, individualism, capitalism, uh, liberal democracy, um, including starting from nominalism position in the scholastic uh, quarrels. And in that sense, I am disciple of uh, disciple of René Guénon, uh, a traditionalist school. So I reject the modernity and I, on the contrary, I uh, am on the side uh, of tradition. So I am against the West and the modernity. So modern West, uh, it is the worst thing that I could imagine. So there is uh, uh, some um, rational, rational basis in this demonization. The image finally is totally perverted. This is caricature, I agree. But the core uh, uh, of this uh, label to call me the most dangerous philosopher is not too far from, from, from uh, the reality because I, I uh, challenge everything in the Western modern liberal society, from starting from the principles to the last results. Uh, and uh, I think that Marxists uh, before, in the early stages, in the earlier periods, were uh, such criti uh, critics, so radical critics of the Western liberal modernity, but after the fall of the Soviet Union, there was a kind of huge, and maybe before, huge betrayal of the Marxism um, regarding the, uh, the, the fight against the uh, capitalist uh, system, and they, they, have, uh, um, they became a kind of tool uh, in the form of liberal uh, classical cultural Marxism. They became a tool of global capitalist system, uh, sharing with them the main main uh, main values. So, and nobody uh, nobody is uh, against. So everybody, either liberals today or um, left liberals or, or or right liberals. So you are perfectly perfectly invited uh, to 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 be right liberal or liberal central liberal or right uh, left liberal, but you cannot be illiberal. So you cannot be anti-liberal, and that is the kind of rational rational moment in this strategy. So being totally illiberal, and I recognize nice that uh, being neither communist nor fascist at the same time so I am the perfect target for their uh, for for propaganda of all who share uh, with liberals their agenda traditionalism which you mentioned is just not well understood by most people who comment on such things and it just doesn't fit the paradigm and they don't know how to react to it because it's outside of the modern ideologies, but they can only describe things in terms of modern ideologies. So that is an important point. Exactly. And that is, that is why they try to reduce this fourth uh, political theory, my fourth political theory, to fascism or in some time to communism, Stalinism, so to nationalism. So I am against nationalism against radical against all kind of racism or against xenophobia against uh, uh, atheistic materialistic communism but uh, the liberals cannot deal uh, they simply cannot 
uh, imagine that uh, their enemy, their opponent, could be outside of their classical uh, form. So, uh, who is against liberalism? Communists and fascists. So, if I am not communist, so I should be fascist. If I am not fascist, I should be communist. If I am neither communist uh, or fascist, I should be both. National Socialism, so <laughs> yes. something like that, and to hold debates with someone who consciously describes himself outside of, of this structure, liberalism, communism, and fascism, is something they, they could not dare. And that is strange. I thought with Bernard Annie Levy, we could, or, uh, or with Fukuyama, or with Brzezinski, with other intellectuals, or liberal intellectuals that I have met, in my life, uh, that um, this uh, new kind of dialogue would be possible. Finally, no, they could not say anything against this forced political theory, clearly established and described correctly uh, with details in my in my writings. Maybe they didn't finally uh, read them, or there are some reasons. By they, the only 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 way to deal with my ideas is to reduce to them to something they are not, and after that. Uh, debates begin, but they have already, from the very start, they have no no sense, no 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 meaning, nothing. Well, in my opinion, the people you have just mentioned are intellectuals and name only, and their work, I think, is mostly uh, painted by a very deep lack of curiosity, lack of intellectual curiosity. I agree. <laughs>